welcome in here, out there, all around the world, all of our viewers at sea. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. The, uh... <laughs> the big story tonight, tweet. <laughs> Unbeknownst to almost everyone, <laughs> the major Taliban leaders and separately, the president of Afghanistan were going to secretly meet with me at Camp David on Sunday. Yes. Donald Trump invited the Taliban to Camp David the weekend before 9-11. That's like... There's nothing that's like that. <laughs> that is what... That is only that. Nothing else is like that. Does Donald Trump not know what 9-11 is? I was down there, and I watched our police and our firemen down on 7-Eleven, down the World Trade Center, right after it came down. Ah. 7-Eleven, way to use the old Slurpee, sir. <laughs> but Trump didn't go through with the secret meeting explaining that they were responsible, the Taliban, were responsible for a recent bombing in Kabul, tweeting, I immediately canceled the meeting and called off peace negotiations. What kind of people would kill so many in order to seemingly strengthen their bargaining position? Uh, the Taliban? <laughs> Just yeah. guessing. Mm -hmm. Both Vice President Mike Pence and National Security Advisor John Bolton thought it was a mistake, but according to people familiar with the talks, Trump was taken with the idea of sealing a landmark peace agreement in one of the most presidential settings and wanted to be the deal-maker who would put the final parts together himself, or at least be perceived to be. So, he wanted the praise for a diplomatic achievement that he didn't achieve. <laughs> Clearly, he's a shoe in for the Nobel Participation Prize. <laughs> if you had fun, you won. Everybody gets a hug. Trump, uh, tonight? Trump has a rally tonight in North Carolina, and on his way to fire up, uh, the old frothing machine, he defended his negotiations with the Taliban. I'll tell you all about it in tonight's episode of... Chopper Talk. <laughs> now, while... while the rotors churned overhead, reporters asked the president about his canceled meeting with the Taliban. Your administration and your advisors talk you out of that meeting with the Taliban? No, actually, in terms of advisors, I took my own advice. I like the idea of meeting. I've met with a lot of bad people and a lot of good people during the course of the last almost three years. And I cannot tell them apart. We got a <laughs> good, bad, makes no difference to me. Yeah. What are, yeah. there's no... Good people on both sides. Who, it's huh? one, I can't tell. We got, we, we, uh, we got to come up with some sort of color coding system, you know, <laughs> besides the one I've used my whole life. <laughs> the old Slurpee machine, but... Yeah, yeah. Even if his Taliban plan didn't pan out, he still says he wants to bring at least some of our troops home. What's the specific number of troops who remain in Afghanistan? Who do you want to see now? I would never tell you. I'll tell some people, but I'd never tell you. <laughs> but we have... We have a very specific number. We have a very specific number. We have a very specific number, very specific number, and I, I have it written down right here. It's the number one. <laughs> okay? Never tell you. Never tell you. Well, yesterday, uh, former South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford announced he was going to challenge Trump in the Republican primary, and Trump brought up the time that Sanford covered for an affair by claiming he was hiking on some trail. And the third one, Mr. Tallahassee Trail or Appalachian Trail. He's the Appalachian Trail, right? The Tallahassee Trail is nice, too, but I think he was the Appalachian Trail. But he wasn't on the Appalachian Trail. He was in Argentina. Here's... Uh. Here's a shocker. There is no Tallahassee Trail. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can't Google it. When you do Google it, uh, you get this video. Never liked him too much. I wasn't a big fan. The Tallahassee Trail must be a beautiful place. 
He was supposed to be vacationing on the Tallahassee Trail, but he was actually in Argentina. I don't know. Jim, do they have a Tallahassee Trail in Argentina? I don't think, right? No? No, right? No, no, they don't have one. <laughs> they don't have one in Argentina or, or anywhere. Oh, no. Oh, no, the Tallahassee Trail totally exists, okay? It's right up there near Tallahassee in the Florida Panhandle, <laughs> right next to Alabama, which, of course, still recovering from Hurricane Doreen. <laughs> still recovering. And none of that make no sense, yeah. bro. Trump's gotten a lot of criticism because Mike Pence and members of the U.S. military have been staying at Trump properties uh, over in Europe. People say that as commander-in-chief, Trump is self-dealing to his own businesses. Uh, but Trump responded, yeah, but I'm rich. I own a lot of different places. Soon you'll find that out. When I, because I'll be at some point prior to the election, I'm going to be giving out a financial report of me. And it'll be extremely complete. I'm going to give out, I'm going to give out my financial condition, and you'll be extremely shocked that the numbers are many, many times what you think. And they will be only the best numbers, okay? <laughs> We're talking five, couple of eights in there. Will there, <laughs> will there be a three? You gotta tune in to find out. <laughs> One number that is certainly gonna be in there is Threven. <laughs> Threven, the secret number only rich people get to use. Then Trump got everyone pumped up for tonight's rally. We're going to be doing a big rally tonight, totally sold out, as always. It's every single one, totally sold out. There'll be a lot of people outside trying to get in. Oh, yeah, the people, they'll be all out there with their ears pressed against the door, <laughs> trying to make out tonight's hideous, bloodthirsty chant. Spoiler, it's steal her car. Steal her car. And I want you to know right now, I do not approve.